All right, I know how much the girls like unicorns. So this is a book about how unicorns are the worst by Alex Willen. Unicorns are the worst. Look at all that glitter he's trying to clean up. You can see why I might think it's the worst. For hundreds of years, I have gone about completing important goblin business in peace, from documenting spells, to gathering ingredients for spells, to alphabetizing the ingredients I've gathered for spells. No distractions, no interruptions, just me and my work. But guess who decided to move into the meadow next door? Unicorns. How many unicorns? Now, I know what you're gonna say. First of all, let's find out how many unicorns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Unicorns are the most best magical blah, 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 blah. Now, that's true, but a lot of things are magical like elves and fairies and and that's the other one. What's the other one? Elves, fairies, and, oh. oh, right, goblins. I have studied the forgotten magic that lies deep within the earth. I know spells that can transform socks into slugs. I can turn broccoli into ice cream but, you know, it still tastes like broccoli. And I mastered the three-strand braid. But despite all of this, does anyone ever ask to have a goblin-themed birthday? Have you ever asked to have a goblin-themed birthday? Nope. It's all about unicorns. There's unicorn pinatas, unicorn cupcakes and balloons and hats and gift bags and straws and erasers and pencils and all things unicorn even a unicorn bounce house meanwhile all unicorns do is frolic around all day long on their dainty unicorn hooves frolicking isn't even hard goblins can frolic we just choose not to a horse plus a pointy horn equals a unicorn. A unicorn stare feels like they're hugging you with their eyes. I just don't get it. They're just horses with pointy heads. I have a pointy head, but you don't hear me carrying on about it. Well, it does kind of have it. And the glitter. So much glitter. Do you realize how hard it is to get glitter out of a smock? They are constantly playing their instruments. Newsflash, unicorns. Not everyone likes harp music and the tea parties. So many tea parties. And it's not like they ever asked me to come to one of their parties. Not that I would have time for tea parties when there is so much work to be done. It's not like this shrub is going to document itself. Do I enjoy a good cup of tea? Perhaps the occasional crumpet? We'll never know because someone around here has to take their work seriously. You know what? I wouldn't go to one of their silly tea parties even if they did ask me. You know why? Because unicorns are the worst. Rawr! I would rather be neighbors with a gnomes or this dragon or, or a chicken or, or oh, wait a minute. I feel hot breath. It's a big dragon. Look at that. 
Oh, oh dear. That dragon does not look friendly. And he's up against a wall. <coughs> well, I, I guess unicorns do have some good traits. Look at that. For instance, did you know that the glitter can put out dragon fire? And that heart music can be quite disorientating to a dragon? And those dainty hooves pack quite a wallet. And it turns out a unicorn's horn is more than just pointy. All right, fine. As far as neighbors go, unicorns aren't that bad. But I think that we can all agree, look how magical those unicorns are using it to spin the dragon far away. But we can all agree what? Dragons are the worst. And look, they're at this lovely tea party. Having a little tea and some fairy cakes. Oh, those looked at some jammy dodgers. I like me some jammy dodgers.